So we went on this caravan holiday, and this was the beginning of August, so only four weeks away from the operation. And I'll never forget, because I had to sit down in a chair and watch everybody run around. And that hurt me so much. I played my last game of football. I was 55 at Crystal Palace Stadium. Four years later, I did a bike ride down to Southampton from London uh, in five hours. So I was always in physio or osteopaths environments and they were always treating me for hamstrings or back or whatever. But towards the later part of that decade, I was um, experiencing problems in the hip and uh, they said that the hip operation was looming. So I had my first steroid injection, it took care of the pain. I had my second steroid injection probably 18 months later. And again, it, it masked what was happening. Um, come the third, didn't do a thing. I went back the week later and the doctor, she, she sent me off for x-rays at the hospital. And that's where we found that the hip had actually fused together. I joined a new company and they offered uh, a, a, a good insurance package, which I signed up to. Um, but the pain was so great and the steroid injections that I had were not working. It's a very physical job, very demanding job. You know, I was doing 25, 30,000 steps a night. Um, but I would go back to the car on my two brakes. And on the second break, it, I would basically be nearly crying with the pain. So I saw James and he said straight away, it's a hip operation you need. Um, I've got to say, within five seconds of talking to James, he reassured me. He told me all about the procedure and what would be done and, and whatever. And it, there was nothing there that frightened me. I, I came out of there full of confidence and to the point where I wanted to push on from that point forward. I remember going into reception and everything was just pristine and, you know, it's just fantastic and very professional. I can remember everyone being so kind. From reception, I was shown to my room, a superb room with a lovely window view. And then finally they came and collected me and they sat me on the side of the bed and they said, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have a, an injection. They said you'd get a warm feeling through you. Yeah, and I got the warm feeling and I woke up half hour later. Very, very strange. Within half hour, I was wheeled back to my room. And then I think we started the, all the treatment, the medications and the first class food. And then I was booked in at 10 o'clock to meet a physio, an on-site physio. And I was ready to go. I was ready to, to start. He, he said, try and take a few steps. I was up and down the corridor. I'd been given a chance of a new hip. It was a new lease of life. And I was going to grab it with both hands, both feet. Within 24 hours, I was up on crutches and walking. Albeit, which <laughs> is a little bit strangely, but... Yeah, I was walking. I just continued with the exercises and just increased my, my walking. So at eight weeks I was doing, I think it was about five miles a day. And, and that was an amazing feeling because all of a sudden I'd started to feel the strength of all the exercises they'd, they'd given me. I felt so much stronger in my body. And the added bonus was there was no pain. I could walk to the end of the close and further, no pain. I just wish I'd had this done a lot, lot, lot sooner. I'd gone back to work and I'd gone straight back in to what we call a peak period at work where we not only have to work a full working week, we have to work overtime. A huge amount more steps, huge amount more physicality at work and I sailed through it all. Christmas was great fun because all of a sudden I could play hide and seek with the grandchildren again and, and do all the running around that I get told off for. And then in January, Kathy um, surprised me one day. She did, uh, booked us in to, to view some puppies, some golden retriever puppies just been born. And she went, well, what about this little chap? And that was it. <laughs> it was love at first sight. Um, we brought him back home. And I think the discipline then of, I was, we was having to take him out and I would be out there playing football with him. And then I suddenly realized that all the little skills or little touches I had on a football, I could do without any pain. What I haven't said is the, the amount of aftercare that the physio unit gave me, which was tremendous. 
so highly supportive, you know. And they were first class. The holiday I had in August last year, prior to the op, which was my, definitely my lowest point, you know, not being allowed to run around. To go on holiday with the grandchildren, uh, we stayed in, a, in a, a yurt together. And being able to lift them onto swings and play hide and seek and walk around the lakes and that, it's just pure joy. So if anybody's out there worried about the operation, if you're having the procedure at Kim's, just go there and be prepared to run in and embrace the, the, the experience.